Hi guys! Today I want to talk about plastic yeah, because this whole you know owning your health is very much so obviously I, I kind of uh, focus a lot about self-care and uh, you know your self-care routine and uh, toxic products into your life into your home um, however plastic is a very big part of it and I thought that making a video around this um, could be really useful so when it comes to plastic, you're probably aware that plastic is everywhere um, and basically when you really look into it, it's a bit like everything. We are literally auto, like, oh, we are, li we are like self-poisoning ourselves because the plastic we've been creating since, you know, it all started in those 1950s and with this industrial period, it all ends up because we didn't pay attention to it at the time, it was a very short-term vision, whereas now, you know, it starts to become a bit, maybe a bit more long-term vision, but on a short-term vision, everything would be just produced, like mass production. And this plastic ends up, as today still, ends up in uh, our oceans, and then it actually ends up in the water we drink. So the crap we produce ends up within ourselves basically and then poison ourselves so it's kind of uh you know i think it's actually quite funny that uh, everything we produce that is crap ends up uh, being crap to our own selves and hurting ourselves so we 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 self-sabotage ourselves so that being said when it comes to plastic so there's a lot around recycling um and which is already very good. However, for me, if you really want to act on plastic, it's the production that needs to be reduced. Because once the plastic is there, it's there. Even if you recycle it, it's still there. So governments, industries, companies are not going to change it that much because there is a whole... Um, sorry. There is a whole um, business behind this. Whereas if it comes from us, the consumers, this is different. So for me, it's really within our hands that we can change something and it's by reducing our own uh, plastic consumption. So I wanted to, I'm going to just uh, mention five, um, five just points that I want to highlight um, around all this plastic. So the first one being, you know, really reducing the consumption of our of plastic so this goes from water bottles or any plastic bottles you know every time you buy a pl um, soda or anything at the supermarket it's a plastic bottle become aware of this become aware that every time you buy this you're buying a plastic bottle so first of all when you pla buy this drinking this uh, this water that is in this plastic may end up with you drinking those microplastic bo uh, bo um, bowls and you don't want that so first of all it's not the best for you to drink this water that is inside those bottles and second of all it's um again it's uh, every time you buy one it's just consuming an extra one so instead of that try to maybe have you know nowadays you really find those mugs and those um um yeah those mugs where you can just put your drink in it and or water and use that instead um, I think it's it's really one of the first steps uh, then when it comes to uh, reducing the amount of plastic uh, you know it's everything like you go to the supermarket um, instead of maybe um, taking a plastic bag to put your veggies in just take them with your hand you wipe them you put the tag on the one of them and that's it you don't really need the bag for it um, depending on what you're taking uh, but so just, you know, it's really small things on a daily basis, but just becoming aware of, okay, what is my plastic consumption? You have this in the back of your head all the time and just get used to reduce this as much as you can. The second one is eating local because every time you eat local, it's going to avoid, you know, plastic transform, transportation and, and all of that. Uh, that is necessary to to uh, transport the um, food that is not local so it's it's again it's the same it's if the demand uh, reduces uh, you know 
the companies will shift the the way they uh, their products and their offers. So it's up to us again to consume differently. So if you started eating local, uh, despite from being good, because then you eat actually with nutrients that are good for you, that are in the environment you're living. But on top of this, you are um, participating in reducing the plastic that is needed every time those. Uh, non-local products are being transported. The third one is not especially when it comes to plastic reduction, but it's for your own health, and it's to be aware of the seafood that you eat and actually reduce your seafood consumption. Because unfortunately, um, our plastic that ends up in the oceans, um, it's and ends up in those micro. Uh, micro bowls uh, of plastic, microplastics, um, fish is all the seafood eats it. And you know, they've been studying all that and unfortunately it ends up in their digestive tract and, and, and it, in their in their um, meat, I would say, that we actually eat. So when you eat seafood you're you're eating plastic. So it's either you have to really pay attention where it's coming from but you know, in any case, it's coming from the ocean, so it will still be um, with plastic within. So, if you're really fond of it, uh, try to at least maybe reduce the amount that you're eating of it. Uh, the th the fourth one, um, and that's something I actually learned, is that um, it's hair dryers. I know some people don't like hair drying. I personally like it, uh, even if. Uh, on one side, yes, it consumes more electricity, but on the other hand, um, what, hair, what air dryer does is that as most of our clothes are plastic, are made out of plastic, when you air dry them, it actually sheds those uh, microplastic away. So the, the, the fibers are being, uh, the plastic fibers are being shed, so it, it removes this from the clothes and then it actually removes those microplastic um, to be released from your clothes within your home. So using an air dryer actually helps in a kind of not intoxicating your home with those microplastics. Um, so that's that's a good one to know, I, I think. Uh, unless, of course, you use like you know natural clothes and uh, natural fibers, then this is totally different. And um, yeah, and that's the, actually the point I wanted to mention at last, last is if you can, because same then it depends on your budget, those clothes are usually more expensive, but if you can use, um, choose, um, you know, is a, um, natural fibers and, um, and those kind of clothing that are, that are natural, that are made out of natural fibers and not made out of plastic. Um, so yeah, that's really what I wanted to mention today. The other part, of course, is when you know when it comes to reducing the use of plastic is, as I mentioned, you know, daily life, and it also comes to your self care. Uh, I, I talk about this all the time in my other videos when I come to self care because it's very important for me. It's the you know in the way uh, that I produce my products and where I, the way I choose the um, brands I work with. The plastic has to be. Be, um, if not totally absent, it has to be a very, very small amount. So when it comes to your self-care, um, some still have microplastics in within the products, but nowadays brands usually tend to uh, get rid of them. Uh, but pay attention because some still are. And other than that, it's really about having an all-natural product that allows you to really be uh, fully confident that there is no uh, plastic in there. So that's it for this video. I hope it helps. Um, if Again, as usual, if you have any question, uh, feel free to drop me a comment, like the video, uh, it helps, and subscribe also. I wish you a great day. Bye.